to my youtube channel nursing session today's topic sofa score sofa means sequential organ failure assessment which was formerly called sep organ failure assessment in sepsis let's see what is sofa score the sequential organ failure assessment score previously known as the sepsis related organ failure assessment score is used to track a person's status during the stay in an intensive care to determine the extent of person's organ function or rate of failure the score is based on six different scores one each for the respiratory cardiovascular hepatic coagulation renal and neurological system what is sepsis as we are going to find out the sofa score firstly we need to know what is sepsis sepsis is potentially life threatening condition that occurs when the body is response to an infection damages its own tissues when the infection fighting processes turns on the body they cause organ to function poorly and abnormally sepsis may progress to septic shock no then the main question will arise is that how to diagnose sepsis now see clinical features of sepsis or sign and symptoms through which we can diagnose the sepsis that patient is in sepsis or is going to be in septic shock the first potential sources of infection may be pneumonia empyema urinary tract infection acute abdomen meningitis infective endocarditis cvc infection that is insertion related infections skin soft tissue infection bone or joint infection wound infection or other sources of infection may be included in this new signs or symptoms or of infection the below listed signs and symptoms from which two or more if we see in patient we can say that patient is in sepsis the first column temperature more than 30 degree celsius heart rate more than 90 beats per minute that is tachycardia wbc count less than 4 into 10 to the power 9 per liter altered mental state or other things may happen that temperature may be below 36 degree celsius respiratory rate will be more than 20 beats per minute that is tachypnea wbc wbc count may be more than 12 into 10 to the power 9 per liter or blood glucose level abnormally increased next evidence of organ dysfunction remote to the site of infection one of the following or so far more than two in which condition we can diagnose sepsis like a lactate more than 2 millimole per liter systolic blood pressure less than 90 mm of hg or mean arterial pressure that is map less than 65 mm of hg systolic blood pressure more than 40 mm of mm of hg below baseline or uh, other things are creatine more than 175 millimole per liter or urine output 0.5 ml per kg per hour for more than 2 hours other things are bilateral pulmonary infiltrate o2 required to keep o2 saturation more than 92% means o2 support required venti mechanical or other modes that is by mask Uh, nasal cannula etc bilateral pulmonary infiltrates pao2 or fio2 ratio PA, that is pf ratio less than 300 another such bilirubin more than 34 millimole per liter coagulopathy more than inr 1. more than 1.5 or apdt more than 60 seconds platelet count less than 100 to 10 to the power 9 per liter if our answer is yes to all the first three questions that is potential source of infections signs and symptoms and other evidences like other bi- biological uh, dysfunctions we can say patient is in sepsis now actually we are going to see sequential organ failure assessment what is this it's all including in this chart first row 
there are parameters 0 1 2 3 4 score we are giving for each points that firstly we discuss that there are six parameters we are going to see that is pf ratio pa partial pressure of o2 divided by fractional ins inspiratory o2 inspired o2 then platelets bilirubin cardiovascular status and then gcs and renal function so if we can remember this chart or if we can see this chart we are going to we are going to able to guess the sofa score of the patient accurately the pf ratio should if more than 400 or equal to 400 then the score will be zero if is less than 400 then score will be one similarly less than 300 score will be two if less than 200 with respiratory support then score will be three for the pf point and if is less than four if less than 100 with respiratory support then it will be four then platelet count more than 150 zero score less than 150 one less than one lakh score two less than fifty thousand score is three and less than twenty thousand we can score it as four then liver function test bilirubin less than twenty score zero twenty to thirty two micromole per liter if the values are coming then we will give score one or if the criteria is between two points that is thirty two point five then we can score we have to score the higher point that if bilirubin is 32.5 micromole per liter then we are giving score it as 2 because it's coming more than 32 and less than 33 so we have to score higher point only similarly cardiovascular status mean arterial blood pressure more than 70 score 0 mabp less than 70 score 1 if we are starting anotrophs like dopamine dobutamine epinephrine or norepinephrine that is adrenaline noradrenaline then score increases accordingly then gcs 15 is normal then 13 to 14 score 1 10 to 12 score 2 if below 6 and between 9 it will be 3 and less than 6 it will be 4 creatinine or urine output milliliter per day if urine output is less than 500 per day that is 24 hours urine output will if it is less than 500 then we'll score 3 and if it's less than 200 we will score 4 there is note that anotrope doses are in microgram per kg per minute so if we are giving norepinephrine less than 0.1 then it will be 0.1 microgram per kg per minute means we have to know the actual weight of the patient patient's body weight and then we have to calculate all the values so thank you for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe the measuring skill that is if what at what points or a score we have to diagnose the patient's mortality mortality or uh, icu stay we will see in next lecture. So be connected. Thank you.